thank you. And, uh, and there's the slides. Thank you very much. It's a real honor to present the results of the effects trial. And I also want to thank the ESO, WSO for the kind invitation. All slides will be available at effects.sc soon after this presentation. Also, I'm happy to say that the manuscript has been accepted for publication in the Lancet Neurology. Planning of effects started some eight years ago. First patient was recruited October 2014, and in late December 2019, we did our last six month follow up. I'm presenting on behalf of the effects trial collaboration more than 150 investigators from Sweden and internationally. Here you can see my disclosures. All funders are non-commercial with none from the industry. Here you can see the research question. Does 20 milligram fluoxetine once daily, daily for six months after an acute stroke improve functional outcome? And the primary outcome was the modified ranking scale. Effects was an investigator led randomized controlled trial with two parallel groups. Patients were allocated either to placebo or 20 milligram fluoxetine once daily for six months. We randomized 1500 non-depressant adult stroke patients at 35 hospitals in Sweden. But why test fluoxetine, an antidepressant also known as Prozac? Before we started effects, we searched the literature we found promising results in animal stroke studies. We found clinical trials of which the, the FLAME trial was the most important. We did a Cochrane review, including a meta-analysis. The idea was to take a known drug that has been used by a million people for depression and try it for new indication. What are the possible mechanisms for fluoxetine to enhance recovery after stroke? A meta-analysis of animal stroke studies has shown that fluoxetine improves neurobehavioral outcome by over 50%, probably by increasing neuroplasticity. There is evidence for neurogenesis, there is evidence for neuroprotection, there is evidence for influence on the adrenergic system. What really ignited our interest for fluoxetine was the flame, flame trial by Cholet and co-workers published 2011 in Lancet Neurology. In this randomized controlled trial of 118 ischemic stroke patients with hemiparesis, 17% more of the patients allocated to 20 milligram fluoxetine was independent three months after compared to placebo, 17%. Could that be true? When in 2012, Gillian Mead and co-workers did a Cochrane review of SSRI for stroke recovery. The review summarized that SSRI reduces neurological impairment, anxiety and depression of the stroke, although there were heterogeneity between the studies and concluded that large, well-designed trials were needed to determine whether SSRI should be given routinely to patients with stroke. This led us to develop a family of three trials with similar core protocol, slightly tailored to national settings. Focus in the UK, effects in Sweden, affinity in Australia, New Zealand, and Vietnam. Focus published its results December 2018. The results was neutral with a common odds ratio of 
95. Water bath effects. We included adult stroke patients with no upper age limit. We included both intracerebral hemorrhage and ischemic stroke. We randomized the patient between 2 to 15 days after stroke onset. Sorry. Um, and the patient, this is very important, needed to have persistent focal neurological deficit present at the time of randomization, severe enough to warrant treatment from the physician's and the patient's perspective. What about exclusion criteria? Here are some of the most important exclusion criteria. Epilepsy, depression, previous drug overdose or attempted suicide, allergy or contraindication to fluoxetine, or life-threatening illness. Here are some of the baseline characteristics. Both groups were well balanced with a median age of 71 years. Around 98% was independent before stroke. 88% had an ischemic stroke. The median NIH stroke scale was three points. Comparing to a Swedish population, effects has similar characteristics regarding stroke type and stroke severity. Now I'm going to give you the results. The primary outcome, the modified ranking at six months. Fluoxetine once daily for six months after an acute stroke did not improve functional outcome. The primary outcome was neutral. The common odds ratio was 0 0.94 with a 95% confidence interval crossing one, so no benefit of fluoxetine. What about the safety outcome? In many ways, our study indicate that fluoxetine is safe in the stroke population. There was no treatment related death. Mortality was low. There were no difference in acute coronary events, epileptic seizure, new stroke and bleedings. The number of depressions was reduced with around 4%. However, the number of fractured bones was increased with around 2% and hyponatremia with 1%. Our finding of better diabetes control for fluoxetine was rather odd. The reverse was to be expected. We think this is a chance finding associated with multiple analyses. To sum up the results. Fluoxetine once daily, six months after an acute stroke, did not improve functional outcome. Fluoxetine reduced depression and at the same time increased fractured bones and hyponatremia. We do not recommend the routine use of fluoxetine after stroke. You will be able to read them article soon in Lancet Neurology 